Hi, I'm Nicola with The Wonderful Wig Company. I'm here to talk to you on behalf of The Little Princess Trust today. And I'm going to give you a demonstration of how you should wash your Little Princess Trust human hair wig at home. Many people are very worried about the first time they wash their human hair wig, but it's not something to be frightened of. By doing it right, you will protect the integrity of the wig and your new hair will look amazing for a lot longer. Always wash it when you have time and never when you're in a rush. We recommend that you should wash your hair once a week if you're wearing it most days for at least a few hours a day. Firstly, we're going to brush the wig using the brush provided to you by the Little Princess Trust. Nice and gently remove any knots. For best results when washing, pop the hair onto a polystyrene head. You can do it without a poly head too, I just find it easier. Gently run lukewarm water over the full head until it is saturated all over. Add the shampoo provided in your pack to your hands. Rub together in your hands and gently distribute it through the hair, not forgetting the lengths and ends. When we are washing the hair, it's always in a downward fashion. We are never rubbing too hard or in a circular motion. We do not want to tangle the hair. If there isn't too much of a lather, don't worry. We're going to wash it again. Rinse out till the water runs clear and repeat the shampooing process once more. Once you've done the shampooing we move on to conditioning. I add the balm or mask or conditioner that was provided to you in your pack to your hands and rub together once again. Then apply this to the hair. Again, always in a downward fashion, being sure to coat all the lengths and ends well. We would leave this on for around 20 minutes, then rinse thoroughly, always with lukewarm water. This rinse should be a few minutes long as the wig cap tends to really hold the products and you don't want to go to all this trouble to leave products in the hair. Once it's all rinsed, we would then take the hair off the head and rinse the inside of the cap too to make sure that we haven't left any products in there either. When we are sure that we have removed all the products from the hair, we will use a towel to gently blot dry the hair. We would then leave the hair wrapped inside a dry towel for around half an hour to remove more of the excess water. Next, I'll place the hair back onto my stand and carefully and very gently put in my parting and style. Using your little princess truss brush, very gently put the hair into shape for drying. I always like to brush mine back a little from the face as it dries. This helps to set it this way. We then transfer the damp hair to the stand given to you in the pack to air dry overnight. We never dry in a damp wig on a polystyrene head as when a wig is wet it can stretch on a polystyrene head. So we air dry on the plastic stand or an upturned vase if you don't have one. The wig should be pretty much dry after around 15 hours and then you can finish the styling the following day safe in the knowledge that by air drying you first, you have put the minimum impact on your new hair. 